guys, so today I'm gonna tell you different tips for studying because probably a lot of you are in finals or exams or stuff like that. I think this could be really useful for some of you. Let's get started with all the tips that I have. If you're studying in your bed, you're gonna fall asleep. Like you're gonna get really tired. So I recommend not studying in your bed. It's better to study in an environment where it's all clean and you can put things all over the place. Like for example, a desk or like if you want your kitchen, it's not in your bed or you'll fall asleep. I know it. I've done it. It's happened to me. Get your notes and start a summary. If you're gonna do a summary, I recommend using a lot of colors, highlighting the most important parts of your notes and that you know are gonna come in the exam so you can put them in your summary. You should use keywords for uh, remembering what that theme was or things that you want to remember. Okay, so when you're doing your summary, remember to write down all of your doubts so you can ask the next day and ask the teacher if they give you um, the themes that are coming in the exam so you know especially what you have to study. Then you can absolutely use flashcards and I have an app on my iPad that's called, let me check how it's called, the app is called flashcards. How original of you. And um, I think flashcards are really good for um, studying because you can write like the meaning and then you can write the word so for example let's say you're studying for vocabulary and you have to learn the word dog so you just say dog or oh, what what is it and you have to say it before you turn it around and then when you turn it around you check if your answer was correct or not and if it's not then you have to put it back in the pile of things that you still don't know and if it was right then you just put it on the other pile and then I recommend checking when you already know all of them checking them again because you want to be sure that you got them all right flashcards another thing I want to say is don't wait until the last moment. I always do this, but it's horrible because then you're all pressured and then you have questions and you can't ask the teacher when it's the exam. So, um, for example, let's say you have an exam on Friday, start studying since Wednesday because then on Thursday you can ask your teacher or your friends doubts that you found when you were studying. So I recommend studying two days before your exam. Another really important thing for getting good grades in your exam is eating a good breakfast because you're gonna feel a lot better and with a lot more energy if you eat like eggs and fruit and the juice something like that that's um, complete than just eating a granola bar because then you're gonna feel like you don't have any energy and you are gonna be a lot more tired and stuff like that and something I do before exams or when I'm studying is eat almonds I eat like 12 almonds and I don't know what happens but I think it's really really good for memory and like it gives you more energy I don't know I, my mom told me that and you know moms are always right <laughs> so I recommend eating almonds so something I've done a lot and it seems like not a lot of people know that helps so 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 much for memorizing is studying before I go to sleep because something happens that when you wake up you know it well that happens to me so do that before you sleep because It'll help you a lot. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so another thing I recommend a lot is studying groups. So try doing it with somebody that you know is gonna study and not uh, talk. What's the best way of getting a study group? To clear all your doubts with another person. So try getting a person to study with you that knows the theme. So for example, let's say you're really good at math, uh, but you're really bad at chemistry. So Find a person who's really bad at math but really good at chemistry so you both get like it's a win-win. They can explain your doubts and you can explain their doubts so they're all happy. The second one is study it the day before your study group because um, it's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot, yeah Mariana because a lot is the word. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot easier to study with a person if you already have the doubts like what you don't understand, what's your questions about the theme, like that you know the things that you know and that you don't know. So I want to sleep early because um, you're gonna be a lot more <laughs> relaxed and it's gonna be a lot easier if you're not sleeping in the test because if you're sleeping at the test you're gonna be like I wanna sleep, leave me alone. 
Please leave me alone while I want to sleep. Yeah, you don't want that. You want to be awake and to be able to remember everything you studied. A way of sleeping um, early is putting an alarm at the time that you have to like leave everything beside and start like eating dinner, everything that you do before you sleep. So another thing that you can do is put relaxing music. So when you get to your bed, you're already like, hmm. Okay, so those are it for my exam and studying tips. <laughs> I hope they helped you. Okay guys, so I'll talk to you next Friday or Tuesday. Good luck on your exam. Bye! Breaking in, shaping up, then checking out on the prison bus. This is it, the apocalypse. Yeah, my my knowledge out to the world. Boom. <laughs> okay, I'm so crazy. <laughs> Can be um. Key key. Coffee.